So here we will be talking about data analysis and statistics, mainly on data gathering. So our first example, as you move on, tells us to identify the population and the sample. And what is population? Well, the population is the entire group of people that you want to you want the information about, and a sample or the part of is a part of population. Knowing this information, let's go ahead and move on the problem. The problem tells us a car factory just manufactured a load of 6,000 cars. The quality control team randomly chooses 60 cars and tests the air conditions. They discover that two of the air conditions do not work. So you see, you need to find out the population and sample in this question. So the answer here would be the population is the entire group being tested. So it's the total number of cars in the factory, which are 6,000 cars. Yep. Now, if you were to take the sample and the researchers basically randomly uh, select the uh, 60 cars out of 6,000 cars that are caught as the representation of the entire population. So they represent the whole 6,000 cars. Moving on to our next question. Next question is based on making predictions. Now, making predictions might not be accurate, but let's go ahead and see how it's basically solved. Now the question says, in a random sample of phone calls to a police station, 11 of 25 calls were for emergencies. Suppose the police station receives 175 calls in one day. Predict the number of calls that will be for emergency. Now whenever you solve this problem and it says the word predict, it means that whenever you get the answer, it doesn't basically mean that you have the right answer. So here's how we give it a try. The answer here, the 25 out of 25 calls, you get 11 calls for emergency, and we don't know out of 175, you get a y number of calls. So you do cross multiplication, and whenever you solve for y, you get y to be 75, 77. Whoops, and 77 represents the calls. So therefore, we can say out of 175 calls that police receives in the police station, 77 calls will be of emergency. And like I mentioned before, this is not an accurate because we are predicting. Yet, this is a part of data analysis. Thanks for watching.